Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and a cheap sensor kit I bought from AliExpress. And especially as some viewer requested, I want to do an Arduino program for the KeyY040 sensor or module with a rotary encoder and a program that don't disturb the program in the foreground. And first I search in AliExpress press for in one sensor module and sort the result by price. And as you see, after some other findings, we find the $10 sensor kit that is like 37 sensors in one box. And it took about four weeks to deliver for me in my country. And sure, you have to check what's your delivery costs. That is additional to the package. But in my case, this is free of shipping. And just in first test, I test the small laser module that came in, inside the module kit. And you can also change the focus point of the laser. So back to the rotary encoder. The rotary encoder have two contacts and the contacts A and B are switched with the third contact, the contact C. So we have always a switching phase between A and C and B and C. So you can see sometimes A is on and then A and B is on and then at the end only B is on and then both are off. And the phases are reversed if you switch the rotary encoder in clockwise or counterclockwise. So here's the phase shifting diagram. And you can use a small test circuit to test the rotary encoder with some diodes and current limiting resistors. So we can see when A or B or both on or off. And this is how I connect the KeyY040 module to the ESP32. And I use the clock and data pin as A and B inputs and you have also the SW or switch so you can press the rotary shaft as a third button and the plus sign goes to the 3.3 volt rail and ground certainly goes to ground. So that is how I connect the KeyY040 module to the ESP32. And you can see this later in the code or change it if you wish and I use the GPIO pins 2, 4 and 5 from the ESP32. And this is the small test code that I use. I base this on the interrupt routines so don't block any foreground processes. And we start by two values so we can have the rotary value if we switch clockwise or counterclockwise let's count up or down and we have the switch value how many times we have pressed or released the button and we have a small state value so let's start with the setup routine we start with our three pins a b and the switch pin and we attach the interrupt routine for the a and b switching and the second interrupt routine for the switching of the middle the rotary shaft and in our loop function we just print out the values and just delay one second so we can see what's going on now in the interrupt routine we just use our stored state but we begin with state zero and then we can read out the pin A and B and can choose whatever switching diagram case we have in. So we can decide if we increase or decrease our rotary value by one or by two. And then we store our state value. And as you see, we surround the block where we change our values with some critical interrupt routine. So the changing of the values don't interfere with the rest of the code. And nearly the same with the switching. We just increase our switching value in this case. So let's start compiling and uploading our code to the ESP32. And now we can see the serial monitor what's going on. And I first rotate the shaft a little bit counterclockwise or clockwise as you see we're counting up. 
and we can also counting down counterclockwise as you see. And now I press the switch as you see and release it. So count as two if you press and release it. And let's do it again, four, six, seven. I press it multiple times. And here just a view on my bench with the setup I used on the breadboard with the ESP32 and the KeyY040 module. And you see the small LED responding to the rotating clockwise and counterclockwise. So that's all for today. Hope you learned something today and you enjoy the video. Thank you for viewing. And as always, you find all the code and other information in the description. Please share and like and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.